hey guys what's up welcome back so today i'm going to be doing my february favorites and i really haven't done a favorites in so 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 long and i apologize for that i just haven't been loving a lot of things but i am getting back into makeup and stuff like that and i'm trying to do more like videos and i'm trying to concentrate more on videos in school and work and whatnot so I do have a few favorites this month because I've been wearing makeup a ton. Well, not a ton, but a lot more than usual. So let's get started. I've also been shopping and all of that jazz. So let's get started on the haul. I mean, no, the haul. Let's get started on the favorites. Okay, so my first favorite is actually a clothing item and I literally I just got this. But I have been loving this shirt right here and this shirt is so funny. It is hilarious. I love it. It's like it has like a thumbs up, you know, and then it has the thumbs down. I love this shirt. I got this from Forever 21. I got this one in a 2X because I want to wear this with um leggings. So I wanted it for that and I love this shirt. It's just funny i love it i love how it fits i will it's very very comfortable highly soft and i just love this shirt so definitely wanted to put this in this haul sorry from a little bit far next up is my naked palette three i am actually wearing all the shadows from this palette and i love this palette i don't think i'm gonna get any more um any more of these palettes because i feel like they're kind of the same. I mean, I have all, I actually literally have all three, even though I gave the first one to my sister. But I have Naked 2, I have Naked 3. There really isn't a different deviation from any of the palettes anymore. And I feel like Urban Decay should just stop. Uh, there's no deviation in these palettes anymore. And they kind of look the same. And honestly, I just, I love this palette. I'm definitely not going to give it back, but... I'm not going to buy any more of these palettes because I feel like they're kind of the same. This is was a little bit different than the Naked 2 palette. Um, it's still kind of the same, but I really do love this palette and I love my Naked 2 palette, but I'm just not going to buy any more of these palettes. Okay, so I have been loving this Clinique Moisture Surge and this is the Sting of Thirst Relief. This is the Gel Cream Formula. I did have a deluxe sample size from Sephora because um, for during the time I gave in some of my points for that but I went ahead and bought the full size one because I absolutely love this this is type expensive but I say it is so worth it it keeps my makeup on lasting all day at uh, sorry keeps my keeps my makeup lasting all day and I just absolutely enjoy this palette I mean Palette. Yeah, I absolutely enjoy this cream. Um, my makeup still lasts for a very long time with this, and you don't need much, so it's definitely worth the money. And yeah, I just really love this, and it it has like a really gel based formula. So for me, because I have like huge pores like right here and my nails, so this definitely works for me, and I really really love it. So for foundation, I've been loving this NARS um, Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. This is an SPF 30, and I'm wearing the darkest one, which is Polynesia, and I love this foundation. I do wear an NW15 in MAC, um, but this is like a perfect foundation for me. It's not, it's not even a foundation, it's more like a tinted moisturizer. Well, it is a tinted moisturizer. <laughs> It's a tinted moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. It works. Um, it definitely doesn't make me feel like I have foundation on my face. I hate that feeling, which is why I hadn't worn any foundation for a while because it felt like I was wearing freaking. It felt like I was wearing a mask on my face, and I didn't want to feel that way. I wanted to still. I wanted to be like I have an even skin tone, but still have some of my skin shine through. And this definitely does the job. I rec recommend this top and bottom. This is like, this is amazing. I love it. It smells really great. Like, like when I put it on, 
it doesn't it doesn't smell like foundation or anything like that so I really love that and this was kind of expensive though I will say that but Mac was ex Mac is expensive as well so if you're willing to dish out the cash um, I suggest this a, a little does go a long way with this product so I really really love that about this with that product I love using my beauty blender I did go ahead and get this and it actually gets bigger when you wet it and you have to wet it, squeeze it, wet it, squeeze, take out all the water. You have to use this damp. And since finding out about this product, it has worked. It's awesome. I love this product so very much. It blends out the foundation so well. I don't feel like the foundation is like completely rubbing off. And I just, I use this so much. This is so worth it it is 20 bucks but these are reusable so i definitely say that it's worth getting so i absolutely love this and i did get an actual beauty blender so yeah i love this beauty blender though love it next up is my smith rosebud slav and i use this for my cuticles i have rough cuticles because i have a rough job um my Currently, right now, I am stocking, which means that I'm putting stuff on shelves, and it is rough on my cuticles, it's rough on my nails. I usually can't even keep nail polish on for too long because the nail polish will just go away, um, which is why I haven't really been wearing my nail polish. I have so much nail polish that I want to use, and I can because I'm stocking. <sighs> but, so my nails, my cuticles are dry they're always been dry because they never put anything on them so i decided to try this and this has been working really well i've used this like three times so far and i feel like it's doing its job um i definitely want to continue using it just to see but i want to put this in a favorites video because i never got to put this in a haul or at least i don't remember putting this in a haul so i it is currently a favorite because it because it does work um but I did get the original one, so I love this. Next up, I have been actually been using this is a sample from Sephora for as a birthday gift, and this is from Makeup Forever. This is the Smoky Exa Extravagant. I love this mascara. It it seriously combs through all my lashes. It gets through all my lashes. I'm wearing two coats right now. Don't know if you can see. But, yeah, you can't see. But, um, I will put pictures of this look on Instagram. So, if you want to see that, check me out down there. Um, I love this sample. Um, I definitely think I want to get the full size. Because this is, like, the best, the best mascara I have ever used. I love the brush because the smaller bristles... It comes, it starts off big, then gets smaller. The smaller bristles gets on the inside, which is what I love about this mascara. I love it. It definitely elongates my lashes. It makes my lashes look how I want it to look. And it definitely does the bottom lashes really, really well. I absolutely love this. I'm definitely getting, getting the full size when this is done. <sighs> Sorry, it's like 1 o'clock at night. I kind of want to go to bed, but I just have to make a video for you guys, so thumbs up for late night videos. Um, but yeah, I love this mascara. It's awesome. It's like so far right now. I, the ones that I used to wear is the CoverGirl Blast Blast, and I still love that mascara, but honestly, this one right now is kind of like tipping it. Like this is the best um higher mascara ever and I definitely want to get the full size one so I absolutely love this oh so my next favorite is what's on my lips right now and currently I am wearing Viva Glam Rihanna which I have been loving red lips I really have and even though it's not holiday it's not the holidays anymore no one's but I think the holidays is more meant for like darker reds this is more like a bright in your face red and i love this red lipstick this is from her the um 
I forgot what it's called. Viva Glam. Yeah, this is from the Viva Glam collection where all of the proceeds go directly to funding AIDS research. So I love that about these brands. That's I, the last one I, that I got from Viva Glam was the Viva Glam Nicki Minaj one. And I love that one. But I love this one. I love this one too. And it just has Rihanna's um, handle, name handle on it. And I love the lipstick. This is a luster. I mean, excuse me. This is a frost. And I love it. I love, like, MAC lipsticks. They smell freaking amazing. They smell amazing. They smell like a vanilla cream cupcake, I think it smells like. And I just, I love, love, love this lipstick. This is love right now. And, yeah, I just really, really love this lipstick. I literally get compliments every time I wear this lipstick. And I'm just like, oh, thank you, thank you. But, yeah, I love this lipstick. Next up is my favorite candle, and currently my favorite candle is Raspberry Peach Macaroon. This candle is the business, seriously. I love this candle. This is from their home, this is from their Sweet so Spring at Sweet Shop collection. And currently, right now, they're having a sale two for $22. Get yourself one, girl. Get yourself one, cause, because this is the business. It smells so freaking amazing. It makes my room smell like, smell like candy. And I love that about this, this candle. I love this candle. Yeah, I, I don't know why I'm doing that, but I'm just weird like that. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that either. Okay, but I love, love, love this candle. It smells so amazing. I don't know if it smells like a macaroon. I've never had a macaroon, but it smells like candy to me, and I love, love this candle because of that. Yeah. So next up is my favorite magazine. Now, I, the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't really have a lot of favorites this month. So, yeah. So my favorite magazine is Nylon Magazine. Uh, sorry, is Nylon Magazine. And currently it has, I don't know who this is. Yeah. Oh, Vanessa Hudgenson? Whoa, I actually do know who that was. Currently, it has Vanessa Hudgenson on the cover, and I love Nylon Magazine. They just have fun, edgy looks, which I am all about the edge. I'm all about being edgy. I just, I'm really all about edginess right now. And, you know, Nylon Magazine really does that. I love Nylon Magazine. They're awesome. So, I love Nylon Magazine. Next up is this MAC paint pot in Groundwork. I use this paint pot um, as a base for other paint pots over my other base, which is Urban Decay Primer Potion. I love this paint pot. This paint pot is awesome. I think I want to get other paint pots. The only problem with this is that it kind of dries a little bit too fast, so it's a little bit harder to work with but it's, it does its job so I really love this. My last favorite is an album. I actually have two two more favorites and the first one is an album and it's by James Arthur and you may not know who this person is but he won X Factor and this is like the English version all the way in England so he won X Factor and I have this favorite favorite song from him. I love his album but I love this song. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see it for you guys. Okay, and the next one is gas pedal. So you know, you know what this is. This is by Sage the Gemini, and. I love gas pedal. Gas pedal is like the shit right now. So we're gonna listen to that too. Okay, so apparently this video has gotten too long. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah. 
Okay, so hopefully you guys guys enjoy this favorites video, and I please make sure to like and comment down and down bar below, please. Yeah, I don't know why I do that, but um, yeah, please also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Um, they're all at Serenity Twenties. Make sure you go follow me on those. I post a lot on Instagram and I definitely do use Twitter like the business and I don't really use Facebook a lot so that may end up getting deleted. I don't know what I'm going to do with that but um if you hopefully you enjoyed this video please comment like subscribe and I will see you guys in the later ones. Bye guys!